guys, Lance here. It's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. I'm up by the Canadian border right now. We've had a great winter, great in the sense it's been pretty cold, lots of snow. The only way to really get around effectively without engine powered or animal powered equipment is with your feet and I'm using snowshoes. Everybody always asks me uh, lately, what have I been using for my winter kit? So I thought we could do a little video and kind of show you what my, my basic kit is. So I've got the uh, USGI magnesium snowshoes on. Um, not the best for going around in tight woods. They're great for open fields, but I like them because they're real simple. They're durable. You don't have to take care of them. Uh, nice and rugged things. If I was doing more stuff in the woods, I'd probably have a nice uh, short traditional pair with uh, you know sinew and wooden frame, but these things work good. They're durable. Uh, from there up, I've got my Russian Valinky boiled wool felted boots. They're pretty much not heard of in this country, but they're really common in Russia. They're awesome. What it is, is basically a big, thick sock. This is all felted wool. So comfortable. It's the next best thing to being barefoot. It's kind of like just walking around in your favorite sock all the time. And there's no sole on these things. They're just literally all felted wool. I can walk through the snow, you know, super deep snow. It could be 20 degrees below zero, which has been here lately. Totally warm, very comfortable. They breathe well, and again, it feels like you're right on the ground. And I love these things for snowshoeing too. And they're also really easy to get in and out of. Uh, no, no stuff to lace up. So from there, I've got uh, wool power. These are 600 gram weight socks. Underneath those, I have darn tough wool socks. And again, these things are really easy to slip back into, just like wearing your favorite uh, pair of socks. So in my pants, I'm wearing 1960s era German wool military pants. I love these things. They're really super fine quality. I mean, they're, they're awesome. You can buy these things brand new on the surplus market for about 50 bucks. And if somebody were to make these things today and sell them at retail, they'd be like $300 pants. So really awesome pants. Um, it's not super cold today, maybe about 10 degrees. If it was a lot colder, I'd be wearing more stuff up here, but I'm working out. I've actually got a pretty good sweat going right now. So I'm wearing my uh, Hill Truck Ventile Bramer top on right now. Ventile is 100% cotton, windproof, essentially waterproof. It'll eventually get wet, but it breathes super well. And if snow gets on it, no problem. It's, uh, you know, I don't get wet underneath it. Um, got my boiled wool Dockstein Austrian mitts. I love these things. Uh, you can see from what I'm describing here, I'm a big fan of wool. 100% wool USGI watch cap on. I like wool because it's essentially the quietest material out there. It's super flame retardant around fires. It breathes really well. And most important for me, it's just so comfortable. It's just, I love the uh, the feeling of being nice and warm and cozy. So I can actually uh, show you what we got on underneath here. German wool uh, scarf, military surplus, 100% wool. And then underneath here, I've got a, uh, so we can open it up. I like uh, Ivanhoe sweaters. Really, really nice uh, sweaters. This is 100% wool from Sweden. And then underneath I have a wool power light. They have some different ranges of materials. This is the 200 gram light. If it was a lot colder out and I was more stationary, I would probably be wearing uh, an additional 200 gram, the, uh, the fluffy looped regular wool power variety, or I'd wear a, a 400 gram with that. But um, like I say, all the hiking, uh, snowshoeing I've been doing, I'm actually quite uh, warm right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off my pack and I'm gonna show you what I put on when I start, uh, right now I'm starting to cool down a little bit so I don't wanna get chilled. I'll show you what my other clothes are. So I just set up a quick little camp here. I always travel with a wool blanket of some sort. This is a USGI wool blanket. If I was gonna do uh, some overnight camping, I'd probably bring my Dutch Royal Marines uh, wool blanket. That thing's really nice and thick and heavy and build myself a nice little pine bed. But for just hanging out, setting up a quick little camp. I'll just set this down. So if I was going to be sitting around for a while, I'd put on my Lester River shirt. Um, this is actually made by Empire Wool and Canvas, but this is the 100% wool variety of the uh, Lester River Boreal shirt. So it's cool right now. I'm not gonna be hanging around in camp with the, the Ventile on. This is more my active uh, sort of wear. So what I'll do is switch into this. If I were to wear the Boreal shirt for all that snowshoeing, I'd actually get pretty overheated. This thing's quite warm. There you go. <laughs> but this is perfect for hanging out in camp or if you're doing more sedentary 
activities. I love it for uh, hunting as well because, again, wool, this thing is so quiet. It just absolutely absorbs the sound. It's one of my favorite uh, pieces of equipment for sure. I wear this thing well into uh, fall and uh, you know early spring when it's cool at nighttime. Really comfortable. I've got a big pocket here, more pockets on the inside. These things aren't cheap. They're I think they're probably about 300 bucks or 250 bucks, something like that right now, but well worth it. Really comfortable and they're great for working around the camp fire because again, flame retardants, you know, if a spark hits this, it's no big deal. Um, I've also got my H&B Forge uh, Tomahawk. I had them make that for me. That's a really awesome hawk. So, you know, my favorites, people always ask me what's in my, my pockets. My favorite method for fire making is just 99% of the time, the simple way, a Dejeep lighter. These things are awesome. They always work. I'll grab a piece of uh, pine, which is everywhere around here, a piece of uh, pine tar, snap that off, and I can uh, find a little piece of dry wood underneath the pine tree. And with this and with my axe, if I need it, get a fire going really quick. Uh, let's see, what other stuff do I have in my pocket? I always have my Swiss Army Farmer on me. That's my favorite pocket knife, the Victorinox Farmer. I also keep a little open-end wrench and keep the whole thing tied onto paracord. Never lose it that way. Have it loop right on my belt. Pretty handy. Uh, let's see in here. I got All-American Knife Company. This is actually made in Michigan. It's a uh, really, really awesome copy of the Wayne Garcia Skookum knife, a super high quality knife. I love this thing. It's made out of A2 steel, really neat. Uh, it has the kind of Scandinavian low profile, no finger guard handle on it. But what I did, I put this uh, little loop on here. So I put that finger through it. And this way I don't worry about my hand slipping over and cutting my finger. Uh, really, really awesome knife. It's actually made by Bark River, but it's called the All-American Knife. Uh, then in this pocket here, I've got the Baco Laplander saw great saw so I'm between the saw and the knife and the axe I'm pretty much set for if I have to build a little uh, shelter or do other sorts of work like that let's see in this pocket I keep my first aid stuff people always ask me what I have in my pocket so I don't like to carry a lot of stuff in these side pockets I don't like to put weight there but it is handy to have the saw and the knife there and then I'll keep like a quick clot and a little uh, pockets medic kit so that I can you know basic stuff in case you cut yourself you want to be able to stop bad traumatic bleeding quick so those don't take up much weight. They fit in my, my pockets real easy. Um, other pockets, you know, I'll have keys and wallet, of course. And then in here, I'll have uh, room to put other items in. Um, in this pocket here, I'll keep my little towels. These things are pretty awesome, uh, made by different companies. This is a Swiss, uh, I think something or the Swiss brand. Uh, really awesome. These things actually fold into a great big towel, so you've always got towels with you. Very handy stuff to have. So if it really were to get cold also, I'll travel with, uh, you know, the USGI Arctic Parka. This is the 1965 model Parka. It comes with a detachable hood, same hood, hits the M65 jacket, the regular field jacket, but you can also put that hood on the M65 Parka. And then I put the liner also, the M65 liner. This also fits the the M65 jacket, you know, the, the classic uh, field jacket, and it also fits into this parka. And these things are great. What it is, it's a nylon cotton blend, mostly cotton. And, well, you put this thing on, if it was really, really cold out, really wind out, really windy out, uh, this thing is, is pretty awesome. It really envelops you. You can see where the, uh, the hood has a adjuster in it, but put this thing on, it's a wool lining in the hood, super, super warm. So with that, and if I was really cold, I could bring along some more wool power, wear that underneath the boreal shirt. I like to have different layers of stuff. So this way, even if I don't use this, I've still got this really effective uh, boreal shirt I can wear. Or if it's a lot warmer out, you know, summertime, it gets cool at night, but it's not that uh, hot in the day, but I would bring something like my Ventil shirt then. So I like to have all these different options, pack this stuff with me. Of course, it depends on how far you're going and all sorts of things like that. But like to be comfortable, like to be warm, like to be well-dressed for the occasion. So that's what, uh, and I'll show you guys some other time, all the rest of the stuff in my pack. We'll have to do a separate video because we're running out of time right now, but that's basically what I've got for my uh, winter, just kind of messing around in the woods kit. So I hope that was useful for you guys. Hope you learned something. Stay warm out there, have fun, and we'll see you soon.